Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem grid challenge. Given a square grid of characters in the range ASCII A to Z, rearrange elements of each row alphabetically ascending. Determine if the columns are also in ascending alphabetical order top to bottom. Return yes if they are or no if they are not. So they have mentioned uh, two steps. One is uh, rearrange elements of each row alphabetically. That step we have to do the sorting operation. And the second step uh, we also need to check whether the column is also in uh, ascending order. That is in alphabetical order. So here we have an example. So here uh, it's already in uh, sorted position, I guess. So if you consider only the column, it's all in uh, ascending order. So we can able to see here the rows are already in alphabetical order and the columns is also in alphabetical order. So the answer would be yes. Only elements within the same row can be rearranged. They cannot be moved to a different row. So only alphabets in the same row we have to sort. So that is our objective. I think uh, the question is uh, straightforward and clear to us. And uh, so the constraints uh, we have, uh, we have number of test cases are 100 and n is also 100. So if I consider the maximum is 10 to the power of 4, I think we can able to solve it in uh, n square because anyway we have to iterate through all the elements in order to check uh, whether the columns are in ascending order. So for that case only we have to go up to n square. The sorting operation is n log n. So that is the average case uh, for uh, sorting. We have a sample input and output. So for this input, we have arranged it in uh, alphabetical order for the rows. And after checking in the column wise, it's in alphabetically sorted. So they also mentioned it here. I think uh, all the things are clear. So while I am solving this problem, I have uh, faced few scenarios. Like in a sample test case, the rows and uh, column length are not equal. Here they have mentioned it as uh, 5 cross 5 grade and uh, they have mentioned n as 5 and that is okay. But uh, for the sample test case or other cases itself, uh, the rows and column uh, length are completely different. They are not the same. So we have to take care of that. And uh, here everything is in the string format. We also need to convert that into a uh, individual uh, characters of and store it uh, in a list. Now let's dive into the problem. I think I have mentioned a few cases. So the first one will be we have to convert this string into individual characters and store it again in the list. So I will do it in a single line. So that will be grid equals a list again list of row for row in grid. So I am iterating each row and if you call the function list of row means it will automatically split the whole string into individual characters. So that will complete our uh, first step. Why I am doing this is string is uh, generally immutable. So we are doing this for the sorting operation. And uh, as I already mentioned we have to do the sorting operation. Before that we have to find the length of the row and column. So R equals len of grid and C equals len of grid of zero. So this will give us the length of row and column. After that we have uh, sort the array. So for I in range of R, now grid of I dot sort. Now we are just sorting each row. So this is the second step that is uh, sorting that is completed. Now the grid will look like this. Now we have to compare the column elements. So to compare the column elements, I will say for j in range of c and for i in range of r why I am doing this in an opposite manner? Generally, we will uh, use the row as the outer loop and the column in the inner loop. But here in this case, our column is completely fixed. Only the row elements 
are changing for this case that's why i'm just uh, doing it in the inside loop now for the condition if not grid of i minus 1 and uh, j less than or equal to grid of i and j so this is the condition this is the condition we have to check whether it is satisfies or not if doesn't satisfy it means we have to return no they have mentioned it here so i will return no here so return no if all the conditions are satisfied means we have to return yes so that's our logic i'm just uh, iterating uh, here in the row wise so if i consider uh, this matrix means grid of i minus 1 j so i'm just comparing with the previous element right so we have to start from 1 so that has to be included and if i compare it means a represents grid of i minus 1 j and grid of i j represents f and for each inner row it will just uh, traverse in the vertical manner and after that it will go to the next column in the outer loop that's how it works let's run the code now it passed the sample test case so this test case is fine as you can able to see i will go to some other case so here you can able to see here uh, the first case is fine 3 cross 3 matrix and here we uh, have a difference so they have mentioned it as 3 uh, cross 3 matrix but actually this is 3 cross 4 matrix and again here also they have mentioned it as 4 uh, cross 4 matrix but uh, the list is in 4 uh, cross 3 matrix so these are all completely different but they didn't mention it uh, anywhere so the first line contains uh, n the number of rows and columns in the grid so n should be equal but here this is different so this is the issue i have faced if you use n means you will also face the similar issue so we have passed the sample test case let's submit it to check yes we have solved this problem successfully If you have any other logic other than this means uh, please leave a comment below it will be very helpful for the community apart from this uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos i will see you guys in the next video